What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and I produce daily content for homeowners and new and up and coming HVAC technicians showing you everything you need to know about heating and air conditioning and on today's call I'm going to be showing you how to install and why you need a filter dryer on every air conditioner and heat pump that you do. So if you want to see how I do it, stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. Alright guys, we're over here at the unit. And this is our old filter dryer. It's installed in the high side line at your outdoor unit. And what the filter dryer is used for is basically when your Freon circulates, your Freon uh, basically does a circle. It goes from your through your evaporator coil to your outdoor unit, through your outdoor coil, and then back up to your evaporator. And what the filter dryers for is if there's any contaminants or anything in that system that filter dryer the Freon runs through that filter dryer and it'll take out not all contaminants but any particulates or anything that's actually in your heat pump or AC system so basically this will run from our condenser out of our condenser into our filter dryer and back up to our evaporator so and this really protects your metering devices so you know you if you have a piston or a TXV if there's any contaminants or anything or little pieces where you weld on or anything like that this right here will protect your metering device and, and keep any dirt or anything from from getting into that so that's pretty much what your filter dryer is for so now you can see I've got the outdoor unit of loose Let's go ahead and replace this filter dryer and see how it's done. It's a pretty easy thing to do, but I'll show you. All right, we're going to sweat this filter dryer out. And you've got two little connections on each end of your filter dryer. So we'll heat those up and pull the copper out. We got one side of the filter dryer out. Now we got to get this side. All right, we got both both sides of our liquid line out. Now it's just time to put the new filter dryer in. And on filter dryers, one thing you need to be very aware of is your filter dryer has a has an arrow pointing to show you the direction of of Freon flow through the through the the filter dryer itself. So you always want to correlate and match up the arrow with the correct direction of of Freon flow. The one that was put into this old unit was has got two arrows, one pointing this way, one pointing that way. That's for a heat pump system because in air conditioning and heat, the Freon flows in opposite directions. But in air conditioning, which we're putting in an air conditioner, the Freon flows only in one direction. So always make sure you put the arrow in the correct direction of your Freon flow, which basically with this air conditioning, your Freon will be flowing back into the evaporator coil upstairs. So our direction of our arrow should be going this way towards the house. So if you don't do that, you'll have a restriction in your air conditioner. In this new train outdoor unit that we have, this has a filter dryer provided. So that's what we're going to use to put back in for our new unit. I'll go ahead and remove this from the condenser and as you see what I was saying the new filter dryer has an arrow so we want to make sure that when we put in this filter dryer that it's actually pointing back towards your evaporator and you see it's going into the house 
So our Freon goes in this way and then back to our condensing unit on our low side. So let's go ahead and get this sweated in. filter dryer all put in all right guys we got that filter dryer put in and you may be asking you know what is the need of the filter dryer because we do pull a vacuum on the system which you're absolutely right anytime you pull a vacuum on it that's going to be the best way to take out any contaminants or anything from the system but a lot of times you know when you pull a vacuum the unit's been here for years and years and years there's no telling if something comes loose in the copper or any type of contaminants after you pull the vacuum the filter dryer is there to protect the metering device so it's always good practice anytime you do any sealed system work you always put in a filter dryer for the system if there's a filter dryer already there if you open up the system you change the filter dryer just as an extra precaution to make sure nothing stops up that metering device or can get into the compressor or anything like that but as you see, filter dryers are pretty easy to do. There's not much to it. Very, very quick job to do. Guys, I appreciate you watching. And if you've never done one, I hope you learned something. If you have learned something, please hit that like and subscribe. It means more to me than you know. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next service call. Bye.